Good everyone, this is your European Open Briefing for Thursday, October the 6th. I'm Rafi Bartian, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be looking at the latest developments in the currency markets today. Uh, so it's been a fairly quiet start to the day. Uh, there's very little data out this morning. Uh, so we're seeing pretty much a continuation of yesterday's moves uh, with the dollar touching a fresh four week high against the yen. Uh, we had some pretty strong US data out yesterday. Uh, the absence of any major data today uh, puts tomorrow's uh, non-farm payrolls report pretty much in focus. Um, and once again, we've got more Fed speakers uh, impacting the markets. Uh, we had Fed's lacquer um, pretty much saying that tomorrow's report, uh, if it's strong enough, it will add to the case for a rate hike um, in the near term. Um, looking at sterling, uh, it's testing once again the 1.27 level after rising uh, close to the 1.28 level uh, yesterday, having bounced off uh, its 31-year low. Uh, a big mover is crude oil. Uh, it's trading near four months highs following uh, Wednesday's uh, EIA report that showed another decline in US inventories. Uh, and gold uh, is pretty much still coming under pressure. It, it made a fresh three and a half months low uh, yesterday. Uh, so looking at the dollar more closely now. Uh, the dollar just touched 103.73 yen a few minutes ago. Uh, so the dollar was boosted from the ISM non-manufacturing PMI out yesterday. It rose to an 11 months high in September uh, at 257.1 from 51.4. Expectations were much lower at 53.0. Uh, so this is a very closely watched index uh, and a good indicator of US economic activity. So uh, strong performance in the ISM uh, report um, actually um, you know, influences, uh, at least in the market side, of what the Fed will do next. We also had the manufacturing ISM uh, out early in the week, and that was also strong. Uh, so this has bolstered the dollar uh, in recent days. Uh, we also had very strong uh, factory orders out yesterday for the US. Uh, so now the, the markets will be looking to, to tomorrow's non-farm payrolls report um, for further guidance about what the Fed will do next. Uh, Richmond Fed President Jeffrey Lacker said uh, he, that the US jobs report uh, will be uh, will likely um, add to the case for a Fed rate hike very soon. Now the pound is doing a little bit better today. Uh, yesterday it touched a fresh 31 year low below $1.27. Uh, it bounced up to around $1.2770, but now it's back down nearer the $1.27 level again. Um, and this comes despite better than expected PMI data. Uh, there was a hat trick of all three PMIs, the manufacturing, construction, and services um, coming above expectations in September. Uh, but markets remain concerned about uh, the possibility of a hard Brexit where uh, the UK will possibly leave the single market altogether and what the impact of that will be on British businesses as they will not be able to trade freely with their European partners. Uh, in contrast, shares in London are at near record highs and this is because of the weaker pound uh, which is boosting the businesses' uh, exports performances. Now let's have a look at commodities and commodity driven currencies. Uh, oil reached uh, US crude, reached a three and a half months high of $49.97, just below $50. And Brent crude uh, did a bit better at four months high, $52.09. Uh, oil was boosted by a drawdown in US crude stocks. Uh, we saw a drawdown of 2.98 million versus expectations of 2.56 million uh, from yesterday's EIA data. Um, and but the Canadian dollar, which is closely linked to oil prices, as uh, its oil is Canada's main export, uh, hasn't been able to uh, make uh, any significant gains. Uh, it strength the, the loonie strengthened to around 1.3160, but now it's uh, weakened to around the 1.32 level once again.
and this is mainly on the back of a stronger dollar. Uh, and same goes for the Australian and New Zealand dollars. Um, we had some uh, Australian trade data out earlier today. Uh, Australia's trade deficit was much smaller than expected, uh, but markets uh, pretty much shrugged this off. And with, with uh, the Australian dollar is has come has dropped below the 0 0.76 level um, this morning. And the New Zealand dollar isn't New Zealand dollar isn't faring much better. It's currently around 0 0.7155. Now looking at gold, we can see that gold has um, pretty much stuck near three and a half months lows. It touched the fresh low yesterday of uh, around $1,261 an ounce. Uh, there's several factors pressuring gold, uh, mainly because of the stronger dollar and expectations of Fed rate hike. We've seen the odds of a December rate hike go up from uh, just about 50% to around 60% uh, from the recent strong US data we've seen. Um, and obviously safe havens, uh, this is impacting safe havens, the demand for safe havens which are sensitive to um, to the US rate outlook. Now looking at the calendar uh, for the rest of the day, uh, it's looking fairly quiet. Uh, we've got the weekly jobless claims out of the US uh, and we've got building permits in Canada. Uh, and apart from that, it's fairly quiet calendar day. So uh, again, the tomorrow's jobs report out of the US, that's mainly going to be on the market's investors' minds. Uh, we did have some positive industrial orders out of Germany early today. They rose by 1% versus expectations of 0.2%, though the euro has been fairly steady around $1.12 uh, so far today. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.